This is smithy.tv. Smithy TV, Mind Reels, I'm Tim. <laughs> we haven't done this Sue. in a while. It's been a, it's been a couple weeks, obviously. But yeah, Sue, how you been? I've been all right. I've got the world's greatest t-shirt It on is today. a pretty sweet shirt. But mine's pretty cool, though, too. Yeah, but it's not Indiana Jones and Han Solo. But it is Jaws, the best movie ever. After Indiana Jones and no, Star Wars. No, no, no. <laughs> It's the whole Indianapolis speech. I'm just I mean, saying. Jaws is practically trying to spell Star Wars. <laughs> Except with the J. No. You see? <laughs> no, you're so wrong. So wrong. Little wrong. <laughs> but. Grumpy Cat's a girl, cat remember a girl. that. <laughs> but we are in the studio today with Trent Keating, which is awesome, because let's get this out of the way first. Showcase was kind enough to send us the first three episodes of uh, Defiance. Yep. Before my trip, so I had to. I wanted to write them all up before I went on my trip, which was awesome, by the way. And I'll be coming back soon. Um, <laughs> and I watched each episode three times. I was hooked from the get-go. Oh. It was amazing. You're ahead of me. Really? <laughs> yeah. I've only seen them twice, I think. It's so good. I I was like, I, as soon as I he's got you beat on Orphan Black too. Yeah, so sure. it's, it's, <laughs> you just got catching up to do. It's embarrassing. <laughs> But so, Trina, thank you for being our first Defiance guest. This is awesome because the show's fantastic. Thanks for having me here. And you guys just got tapped for season two. Yes. I know, I know already, which is perfect. I know. And I don't want to stress for very long. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. You know what Hopefully. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> All of a sudden, <laughs> Dr. Ewell falls down the elevator right. shaft and you've never seen again. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so easy. The no mind shaft or something. No, that that's right. right. That's right. Good. That's right. Good for you. <laughs> but you've, uh, you've also done a lot of cane television before. I think this is probably your second step at being a doctor because you did... You did Defiance, and you've done Combat House. Yeah, I did, so. so yeah, Combat. I was I was in the hospital, but mm -hmm. I was more in the tactical operations mm -hmm. uh, area. But mm -hmm. yeah, you still have to, you know, <laughs> yeah, roll no, off that yeah. military garble very quickly. Sure. So but now it's just uh, now it's just more sarcastic. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. It's more angry and more alien. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then your three credits that I love the most was for Corner Gas, where you played eighties girl, sensitive girl, <laughs> and the perfect woman. It, well, I know. <laughs> I, I, it's, I have so much versatility. Hey? That must, but that must look amazing on, on resume. It's like, perfect woman. Really? Done. <laughs> I have to tell you, when I was an 80s woman, I was Brent Butt's girlfriend, and I had one line, and it was the movie. And it was the last shot of the day on a Friday. <laughs> and I had, you know, this big hair, and they wanted me to blow a big bubble with my bubble gum, and then it pops. And I say, the movie. <laughs> It took about 150 minutes. <laughs> so I think the crew, I'm surprised they ever asked me back. Wow. After that, I was like, they hated me. They were like, we just want to go over. Just blow that bubble right. Yeah. Yeah. Just don't let her chew any gum on the show. I know. They were like, this idea wasn't to give her gum. Can we just cut to her with the bubble in her mouth? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. That should be like the next thing. Don't work with animals. Don't work with kids. Don't chew gum. <laughs> don't yeah. expect bubbles. Exactly. <laughs> It's not in my special skills. <laughs> <laughs> now, we always also like to ask, and I believe you've done your research, so somebody tells me you've actually seen at least one episode of our show so far. Yes. Uh, your favorite movie? My favorite movie is so completely nothing to do with sci-fi or that world. Is That's it from the 80s? <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, it's Sense and Sensibility. Wow. Yeah, Emma Thompson. Yeah. I'm yeah. Gonna, I want to be in a movie like that someday. Sure. I want to be in a big, a, a big period piece. piece? Yeah. 
Yeah. You could pull it off. You know. yeah. She can't grant. <laughs> Who's he? Is he still working? Uh oh. Oh dear. What we'll coming on that show? <laughs> so I can get him then. <laughs> yeah. So you're saying he's available? <laughs> Well, I told them on Defiance that I wanted Fred Savage to be my boyfriend in some season, and they were like, he's probably available. <laughs> <laughs> Fred? <laughs> got something for you. How would that be, though? Yeah, I was like, I'd love to. In the Wonder Years. Never yeah. got over it. Okay. Come on. I can respect that. Totally. <laughs> He'd be a good Indogene, wouldn't you think? Cool. I mean, I don't know a lot of them. But, you know. <laughs> but, but with the second season now, because I remember that uh, that they've got a, a Castathan, 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 yeah, Castathan language and an Arathian language already. Mm-hmm. Are they going to give you an indigenous language? There is a little bit of one. I don't think it's as developed as the other two, <laughs> but I do swear in it once nice. in a while. Nice. Yeah. That's perfect. Like, Those are always the best words. Though. Yeah, Jacques. I don't <laughs> say that, you know. And nobody knows what it is. That's, that's an interesting swear. I've been trying to use shako, but it just hasn't been <laughs> I haven't been able to work it into conversation. It doesn't cut out like It'll Wixom, come. right? Oh, yeah. It'll <laughs> <come>. <laughs> Wixom is awesome. Though, right? <laughs> Lindsay, you know it is. <clears throat> I mean, I use frack, frow. You know, Falgar Carp shows up now and again. <laughs> Impressive. And, uh, <laughs> and those are just the Fs. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say, start whipping off some of that Mandarin from Firefly, oh, and then you'll be do impressive. It, do it. But yeah, you are, you're a bit of a sci fi geek, though, aren't you? Because. You know, not, I wasn't. Like, I mean, I loved Firefly. That was sort of my, my big thing. Okay. That was my sort of intro to, to sci fi. Um, <laughs> I'm just like, of course you did. Yes. <laughs> Carry on. And, and, you know, like, I, I used to read, like, sort of fantasy books, like Raymond Feist books and stuff like nice. that. So I, I did, you know, so I, a little bit, but. I have to say, until I got cast in Defiance, I really didn't watch a lot of sci-fi, mm-hmm. and it does sort of feel like this whole world has been <laughs> opened up oh, to yeah. me, yeah. you know, and, and everyone sort of asked me, like, so did you do a lot of research with doctors and other shows with sci-fi when you were getting ready for this role? And I was like, not really. I, I, it's hard to find an alien doctor to model yourself <laughs> after. I was like, I watched Bones. Prince <laughs> <laughs> Brennan and, and Bishop in Fringe, like... You Bishop know, was awesome. Yeah, and I was like, it kind of got that misfit sort of yeah. weird genius vibe from watching shows like that yeah. as opposed to Star Trek. Because I saw that on your Twitter the other day that you were watching Fringe. And I'm, I almost tweeted back at you because I just picked up the final season on Blu-ray because mm-hmm. it's the only way I watch them is in one go. Yeah, yeah. And I just, I've got like six episodes, maybe seven episodes left in the season. And I'm just like, this is so good. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Great show. Yeah, it is. It's fantastic. I love, I love Bishop. <laughs> That's just pretty cool. Yeah, I think mean, they're all good. But yes. But uh, you're, and I'm sure you've been asked this half a dozen times already, so I apologize. That's all right. But in terms of, of getting into your makeup, how long does uh-huh. that take in the morning? Um, it's two to three hours. Three hours on a bad day. Oh. Um, but you know what? But yeah, considering though, that's actually people, not bad. Some people you're... is you know five, six, seven, eight. Oh um, lord! Some people you know are completely in there and yeah. can't go to the bathroom and can't use their hands. <laughs> I keep you know, I, it's just my head. So, so <laughs> Julie she, Benj rolls out of bed looking that good and then yeah, <laughs> so But the one thing that I am like, well, I don't have to worry about bad hair days or no, that's true. You know, if I have a zit, it <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> You know, Set life right there. Which yeah. works for the character, too, because she wouldn't give a crap. That's right. <laughs> the, the, the crew never sees me at my best because I'm always, like, glasses on. I have my worst clothes on because I don't like wearing any nice clothes into the makeup room. So What's the point? I'm a wreck. I am an absolute wreck when I show up at work. <laughs> They're like, put her in a head. <laughs> Somebody get craft services over here now. Yeah. <laughs> And maybe a bottle of wine. Yeah. <laughs> leave, leave that until after. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> no gum. No, <laughs> right. Don't Ex nay on the um gay. <laughs> <laughs> um gay is fun to say. Oh, I just want to say that now. <laughs> I have nothing. I have nothing. <laughs> Pandas. Pandas. Yeah. But yeah, I just well, we were just mm-hmm. Lindsay and I were just talking about how doing a sci-fi show opens up. The scope of what a television show can do. I mean, especially with this huge cast of characters that the Barnes has. I mean, you can do anything from, like, this week was kind of a, 
uh, almost a stagecoach homage. Mm -hmm. And then you know you can do you can do flat out comedy. You can do social commentary. You can do the tearjerker one. You can do a horror story like with the Hellbox. You can do all right. of that. And with this cast of characters, there's so many places you can go. And I love the fact that you don't have to like this week. It's going to be a, a Doctor Who episode. Next week can mm -hmm. be a you know a, I'm going to get. I just completely Arisa, blanked out. Yeah. 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 Although she's had two already, right? That's, yeah, come on. That's seriously. Yeah. <laughs> More episodes with Kenny. Spread the love. <laughs> I, I want a whole episode in the need want. And let's just follow uh, Kenny around with a camera all day. I'm just saying. Yeah. 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 All right, I'm back. So, <laughs> it's a whole different show. It's, it's a whole right. different show. That's right. But yeah, I just, I just love that. And is there any stories that you would want to tell for Dr. Yeah, Yule? I mean, it, well, what you said is true. Like, the universe is, is so incredibly large, and especially because there's also a video game it makes for <laughs> yeah. an, even, yeah, an even huger universe. And, and I do think that all these characters, they all sort of have their secrets. Um, one, one character that, in particular, that I didn't work a lot with was the Rin character. Mm -hmm. And so now seeing it, I'm sort of like, wow, <laughs> I, I find her really interesting. So yeah. I guess that is, yeah. is, is a storyline that would be sort of of interest to me. Um, but yeah, I think that they've got a really large, wonderful cast of people. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and we're all so sort of vastly different. But we do all yeah. have our secrets, so they could go... Any yeah. sort of any sort of direction, and uh, and there's still like class wars and race wars I mean, yeah. and yeah. all the culture stuff. Yeah, just fantastic. Yeah, and I and I think because of that that there's sort of um, I mean there are the classic sci-fi things that 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 are in there, but um, I hope that a broader audience is being brought to it because there does seem to be this sort of universal feeling and a lot of heart to it yeah. and yes there's the there's the comedy but there's also a lot of greediness and a lot of darkness and oh yeah yeah so I, I hope that I, I feel like it's the kind of story that a lot of people could find interesting even if they weren't necessarily a side oh yeah, yeah. Totally. yeah. yeah. So. well I mean even the, even the pilot like they're driving around this oh, 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 Whoever chose 11 minutes. <laughs> Is there a prize? Yes. <laughs> we'll have to start coming up with something. Um, they're driving around in a piece of crap Jeep, and it I lo that looks Jeep. for all the world like Earth. Because it is technically, right. but then, uh, but then every once in a while there'll be like a gadget or some cool weapon or something that that we don't have. So everything's just kind of melded together into one big. It's wicked. Yeah. Because it's got that Western vibe. It's yeah. got that sci-fi vibe. The sheriff's it's got the badge. The sheriff's got the badge. My, my mother, her comment was, um, are they going to, like, clean up the city? <laughs> like, tell them to plant some grass or something. Like, why haven't they paved the roads? <laughs> yes, my mother Mom, it's not a priority. <laughs> I'd like to see flowers planted. <laughs> We're working on getting a railroad first. Come on. That's right. <laughs> Band, which I love. As a matter of fact, that it didn't blow my mind, but it just made me realize, like, yeah, that's that's what you would want to do. Is you would, you would want to kind of branch out and kind of reconnect with civilization. I'm like, this is so it's so smart and well thought out. And I'll be honest, when I first heard about the show, I was a little nervous. Like, I don't know what to think. And then I found out Rock No Banner was attached to it. I'm like, oh, Firescape mm -hmm. sold. <laughs> so and the series has not let me down yet. Oh, good. good. Need more Yule for sure. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you, I mean, I was waiting for you all episode. She did save everybody like, by activating the yeah, thing. Right? Come on, yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should have t-shirts or something. That's right. Yeah. Well, there's 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 lots of doc to come. Excellent. So not to worry. Because she's yeah, she's brilliant. And the guys can fight over who gets more applause, and I should be the doctor. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. I actually kind of like that too. There, I mean, the way your character is treated is she's like sort of on the outside. Not even on the outside. She's just like in a room by herself for the most part. Yeah, it's like she's she's quite comfortable being on yeah. her own. But um, the mayor too is like getting zero respect because she's not the old mayor. <laughs> you know, right? there's stuff like that where there's all these little comments that are made and these little, well, yeah, you're the mayor, but just you know sit there and we're still gonna do our own thing over here because we're the guys. Right, <laughs> right. I have nothing. To do there with are, some, but I I do like that there are some pretty like strong female oh, yeah. voices God, yeah. in the yeah. show, and uh, I think that my character 
although she might not necessarily like humans, uh, <laughs> I think she has respect for people who are dedicated to their profession. Yes. There's like almost you a know. sneer in your voice when you said that. Humans. <laughs> the lesser race. I hate <laughs> <Whereas people. laughs> If I didn't have to be her, I wouldn't. <laughs> but yeah, no, you're totally right about the, uh, the smart, strong women. And it's sad that for the most part you can only find them in science fiction shows. Hmm. Yeah, somebody else brought that up once, yeah. and I, I thought, oh, well, I never really had thought of that. Right. But, um, I mean, I think it's great that there are oh, yeah. strong women yeah. in, in yeah. sci-fi shows. And I said, somebody asked me why I thought that was, and I thought, well, I don't know, but anyone that I know that it is hugely into sci-fi are people who are great storytellers and so into story. And so... Perhaps that's why that th that story is more important. Than, yeah, than I think the definition of sci-fi is getting broader too because oh, it's definitely, definitely yeah. focusing more on like human drama and and elements like that as opposed to whimsical things. Whimsical, <laughs> yeah. more whimsical yeah. things. I mean, well, every single female in the show is incredibly strong. I mean, um, oh my God, Alex's girlfriend. Yes, Christy. Uh, Christy, yeah. yeah. I mean, she's the one who saved him. She's from a little the cutie. <laughs> you know, like, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. The doc saved the town. Yeah. The mayor doesn't put Day up the Daytag's wife is ridiculous. So she's very much running yeah. the show. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah. She frightens yeah. me. Then, <laughs> me too. Yeah. And, and yet, sort of turns me on. Oh at the my same god. Time. <laughs> I told you. Did I not tell you? Because I, I watched all the episodes first and then bent them to. Did I lend them to you? No, I didn't. Even no. Do, no. And I'm like, there's this scene where they're in the bathhouse and, oh my god! Just, I yeah, know. just, I don't know how that's <laughs> It's crazy because I knew she was in the show, of course, and, but the first time I saw her, she was in her makeup. And I had no idea <laughs> that it was her. I was like, who's that woman with the eyes? eyes <laughs> blonde hair. Yeah, it's quite it's, the transformation. Yeah. And she's yeah. an incredible actor. I mean, it's funny, everyone has a different accent on the show. Mm -hmm. Like, the, it, it, we're all from all over yeah. the place, which kind of works for Defiance. Oh, totally. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> we're aliens. I mean, who knows what aliens And half the people have accents in real life that are different from the accents that they have on the <laughs> well, show. That's just <laughs> yeah. Too. yeah. That's um, got to be fun at parties. Yeah. <laughs> Watch me be day tech. <laughs> <laughs> he would do it like that. Too. That's how he would do it. <laughs> but no, I just and you will just. Anytime she's in a scene, she ends up stealing it. I try. Yeah. I think it just happens. <laughs> Everyone it's just it's just who you. I think that's who she is. Oh, so I have stage. Is that what you're saying? No, no, it was meant totally as a compliment. Yeah, you're, just, you're just in there, and you're like, this is how it is. And like, yeah, well, awesome. thank you. And I think that I, it, to be honest, like. Being in all of that makeup and like you do feel like you're putting on your character, mm -hmm. so you really like. I find it easy to be in the zone <laughs> with her, perhaps maybe easier than some other roles. That yeah, because some people would just have to put on like a, a jacket or a mask yeah. or whatever. That's right, yeah. and also because you're so sort of locked in latex, you are kind of in your own t tunnel all day. Wow! So it's just like. What? Oh, oh, sorry. Is, am I time to act? Oh, <laughs> I'm just sitting over here meditating. <laughs> trying to get through the day. Is a grumpy cat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I act stuffed in strange places. <laughs> I was going to say, it'd be fun to see. I hope there's um, outtakes where you're in full makeup, but still trying to talk like yourself or look at pictures of grumpy cat. And <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of weird, actually, when, when we first started filming and we didn't all know each other very well, uh, I did feel kind of like an outsider because people didn't really talk to me. <laughs> and I had a hard time talking because the mouth was very small the first yeah. few times mm -hmm. that we, we filmed. And uh, people would sort of just <laughs> be looking at you <laughs> while they were talking to you. And it was like you weren't a real person. And so there was a bit of a disconnect. Until, Listen, human. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I thought I'd give up. It's too, it takes too much effort to communicate with you, so I'll just be <laughs> over, over, over here sitting in this chair. Um, but, I mean, of course, after a while, everybody gets used to all these weird people yeah. being around, and it's completely normal. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it was a bit strange. <laughs> yeah. I remember the first day in the lunchroom, somebody just said, 
you look miserable. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I just can't hear you or fit this food in my mouth. You see very well. <laughs> but believe me, it got much better. <laughs> Being in prosthetics, it, it's a bit of a trial. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit of a process. Because, yeah, they have to const- they're constantly refining all the latex. <laughs> that's right. We don't have years. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And, but if you if you complain to your you, to Shane, my the guy who does my prosthetic, if you complain enough, he will uh, cut the ear holes bigger. <laughs> so he doesn't have to listen to me all day. <laughs> he puts them in his ear. He does. That's right. He cuts them out and puts them in his ear. No. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> now... I don't need to know exactly where, but I've been trying to figure out where the, the exteriors are shot. Because I know they're north of Toronto somewhere. Right, yeah, There's, so it's, it's Scarborough. Is it Scarborough? Yeah. I always Can thought it was... Tell? No. I really <laughs> think, I'm looking at it going... The dirt roads? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Scarborough. I'm, I'm not kidding. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sorry. <laughs> well, I, I've only lived here for four years, so I've never been to Scarborough That's right, because you So it's like a little bit of a vacation, right? <laughs> <laughs> I see Scarborough! <laughs> Yes, the jewel. Anyway, I'm just going to stop. There go our ratings right there. <laughs> no, I, I, all the people in Scarborough yes, that are watching us. Yeah, Scarborough and Ajax, <laughs> that whole neighborhood. <laughs> but I, yeah, I honestly thought it was much further north than Scarborough. It was yeah. just, wow. Yeah. That's it's there. It's it 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 incredible. Visit, yeah. yeah, like city. Yeah, it yeah. looks amazing. It does. Like, yeah. it's, I mean, I was blown away when I first saw it. And especially when I went into my office and I was like, oh my gosh. This is all nice. <laughs> this is beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's in Scarborough. And it's in Scarborough. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I saw the uh, face-off episode that they shot yeah. on the on the set too. And, and they were even like, it's like a whole town. <laughs> it's all just here. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like being in a video game. You just yeah. sort of feel like Have running around video? with a gun a little bit. Yeah. I, I just got it. And uh, I, I'm not <laughs> much of a gamer, so I... <laughs> I get it, but uh, I'm trying. I'm trying because people keep asking if I played, and I should be able to say yes. So I can't walk across a bridge without falling off. So <laughs> <laughs> don't feel bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll just wait to regenerate and try that again. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. I like you know. I'll watch other people play it too. It's probably better than me playing. It. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, yeah. I, need, I, I do need to pick it up, but I'm also one of those guys. I'm, I'm not a huge gamer myself. I, I'm addicted to the Lego games. Let's just get that out there. I love the Lego games. Scrabble. I'm addicted to Scrabble. See? Settlers of Catan. Yeah. Any kind of game other than That's video. Totally Lego defined game. I, it's true. I am. Yeah. I'm, I'm totally a geek. Totally a geek. Totally a geek. I didn't know it. Yeah. <laughs> people started asking me. We're broadening the definition of that, too. <laughs> Thank you. Now I know where I fit in. <laughs> Well, as soon as you said, said Firefly, you were, you were golden. So. Oh, okay. Good. That's good. <laughs> See? <laughs> but yeah, I, don't, I do want to pick it up because I heard that, uh, that, oh man, I just want to call him Nolan, Grant Bauer. Mm-hmm. Oversaw like so much of the game and did like a lot of the voice acting for it. I'm like, yeah. dude, you're all over this series. So. Yeah, yeah. That's wicked. I think he was probably a, a little bit in his glory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But in a good way. <laughs> Yeah. Man, I yeah. hate my life. Yeah, okay. It's I gotta get be to tough. Be a hero, the Han Solo yeah, right? show, and I get to be in a video game. It's like every guy's dream. I know. Yeah. I was like, dude, you're awesome in the show. Action figures are action figures. Players? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Like yeah the the other line. person is uh, uh, um, Jesse Rath, who plays Alactar. He's like a huge sci-fi. Guy. <laughs> so he's in his. I mean, he was like at Comic Con last year. Just and I was like, why? What, so what? what? what oh, I assumed there? he was there for work, and he's like, oh, "No, no, it's, I love going to Comic Con." So wow. like, he's yeah, this is a huge you promoting the show? No, I just, just <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just love it there. Now, now that you've done sci-fi, mm-hmm. have you started to encounter those fans yet? Like any of the sci-fi fans? Yeah, yeah, especially because I mean, because of Twitter. Mm-hmm. Twitter's just changed. Twitter's everything. so amazing for that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, for sure, they are. Loyal, loyal. It's pretty wild. It's really, and yeah. people told me that. They were like, oh, you're on a sci fi show. Yeah. <laughs> Get ready. Get ready. Yeah. Dedicated fan. Yeah. I think it's great, though. I think, yeah. Yeah, I, I just, I love that. I mean, hopefully we, you guys can come to like a fan expo or yeah. something. Yeah. Like the finds panel would be very cool. Yeah. 
Just get on that, Amira. Run that down. <laughs> Do it. It's all on you now. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> that would be that would be so wicked. Yeah. yeah. Get get you guys a yes. Yes, and then well, because it worked section. very well for Lost Girl, even from it their did. point of view. Walking into the room the first time, their first fan expo, they had like a cash panel, and walking into like a sold out packed room of cheering fans, like they're like, we had no idea it was so popular yeah. because you don't see it in front of you all the time. Yeah, so. absolutely. Yeah, Lost Girl. And now I want to go to a Defiance panel, so let's just let's make that happen right now. <laughs> We're totally willing to volunteer to moderate it. <laughs> we could get that. I'm just saying, let's put that out there. Showcase uh, sci fi, whoever's watching. You don't need those guys from space. <laughs> 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 Let me look at this. We're funny, we're charming. Have you seen this hair? <laughs> All yeah, you and really have to do is. And the shirts. Yeah, the shirts. <laughs> well, I mean, all anybody has to do Excellent. is introduce them and then just let them yeah, go. Yeah, let them run. <laughs> Here's some wine. <laughs> and go. <laughs> but yeah, that, was, that would be awesome. I know, that's just occurred to me now. Let's make that happen. We know I'm people. a marketing genius. I've already got action figures. I think we should have <laughs> like a whole store on the showcase. And, uh, and replica site. stuff. Yeah. Like those, like I said, those lock keeper badges, we could sell those like that. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I've got ideas. <laughs> <laughs> now, I know we've, we're really jumping the gun on this because, you know, we've only just been picked up a week. You've only just been picked up for a oh, season two. Oh, it's a team two. thing. You can say me. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> is, there, is there any desire for you to get behind the camera and tell some stories or, or write some stories? Or? Um, I mean, I, I would like to take a stab at directing someday. Mm -hmm. um, that's always been something that I've been sort of interested in. And, I, I mean, I've worked um, in casting a, a lot I throughout the years. Yeah. Um, so I love working with actors. I still work as a reader all the time. Um, uh, I was just doing it today, in fact. And um, <laughs> and I so I love working with actors. And, and sometimes it's almost even better than auditioning. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, it's always better than auditioning. Yeah. So there's no nerves. <laughs> <This is> stress, <laughs> <right>. <laughs> and you're just there for the other person. Um, so I, I do think I would like to take a stab at, at uh, directing at some point. Who knows? Who knows? Do it. That would yeah. be awesome. Season four or five, maybe. Right. Yeah. Can you line that up? Do it. <laughs> so at that point, you know, you will be like not only a recurring character, she'll be in the opening credits anyway, and you can just say next year in my contract we want this. <laughs> All right. It happened. Hey, day. Jonathan Frakes did it. Yeah. True. It can happen for you. Excellent. Do it. Let's you gonna negotiate for me? Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> Call them up. Get them on the phone. What could go wrong? <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> What do he I know? Said, he said I could do that. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it must be fine. He knows what he's talking about. He's covered in cat scratches. <laughs> <laughs> She's a doctor. I just figured out how to answer it. That's true. That's true. And it's not my fault. Well, we had pest control in my apartment building today. So, oh, so, dear. So, the boys so had to go yeah, into a so, container. Yeah, They're not like that. Yeah. So, yes. That's why I moved to Toronto. For, for the to pest? be honest, yeah, <laughs> I had I, uh, my apartment building. You've come to the right was place. Completely, the whole apartment building got bed bugs. Uh, and I was like, I gotta move. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Want to move to Toronto? Why not? Why not? <laughs> Just Honestly, what could go wrong? If I had bed bugs, I wouldn't be here. Wow. <laughs> There's a story. <laughs> that's right. That's my book. You're welcome, friends. <laughs> How bed bugs that's changed right. my life. That's right. <laughs> How bed bugs changed my life. <laughs> Yup. <laughs> they do. If you've ever had them, they do. I've had them once, yeah. No, I sure do. Yeah. Lindsay's shaking his head over there. Yeah, it's the 21st century. I don't understand how that still happens. I'm just saying. Well, a cockroach can survive a nuclear holocaust. <laughs> That's so. right. Hell bugs. Chances are they'll no. survive us. They were based on bed Those bugs. are so awesome. Yeah, weren't they good? The first time they showed, like, I love that. I loved, I think I said in my review that I loved like the bugs, but when we got down into the mine shaft and there was the big mama bug, was the kind of part where they started to lose me a little. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. And then there were the goofy bite comments, <laughs> like, oh, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> I don't know who came up with that one. Let's just, let's just get to the end. <laughs> but I didn't hate it. So go back to the need want scene with uh, oh, the calamari. There you yeah. go. It's worth that it. Was so that was so funny. That was a great scene. Because I just love the fact that she looks like she's having so much fun from his angle, and then she's actually leaning back and checking the clock. I'm like, you are awesome. <laughs> I have to say, I, I 
was a reader for those auditions for the men, no, man. and that was fun to see, to see all those men. There were so many great characters. Thank you, Charles, for that. So, yeah. Now, do you have a, a favorite moment, like through the entire course of the first series, like on camera or off? Um, that's not too spoiler. Yeah, good right. Point. Well, I have to say, like, I mean, anything that. Anytime I got to work with Fanula, I was happy because I think she's wonderful. <laughs> yeah, as soon as I started that first episode, and then saw her come back at the end of yeah, that episode, I'm like, you're going to be in trouble. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, yeah, I think she's so incredible, and, I, and, I, and she's just also a really lovely person. So yeah. any of those moments were, were great. Um, but strangely enough, some of the most fun scenes for me are these little tiny scenes where it's just me in my lab doing something, <laughs> you know, um, because, and I think, I think I like them because I feel like that's when we see Doc for, like, who she is, which yeah. is really, like, yeah. I am happy to be alone, and I'm just <laughs> doing my stuff and being brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, they're not close fun because usually it's, like, just you and, like, the second unit team and nobody, you know, none of the other <laughs> cast members are there, so they're not that much fun for that reason, but they're, they're kind of interesting to me. <laughs> So. Uh, Trina, we called cut five minutes ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Still, I'm being still, being yeah. <laughs> I'm still being brilliant. Still being brilliant. Not finished. <laughs> we don't no! call cut till I call uh, cut. That's right. <laughs> it's all gold. Use it. That's right. <laughs> now, now, since we've talked about how sci-fi being a, being a now, you're on your way to a sci-fi icon. Let's be honest. It's true. It's true. You're, sci you're on a sci-fi show, you're going to be an icon. Her. It's true. And we've talked about how media has kind of opened up. Have you gotten any weird tweets yet from any crazy fans? No, I haven't. Except for us. Except for us. Yeah, <laughs> you guys are a bit strange. But uh, yeah. <laughs> but no, I every everybody has been really supportive and, and nice. And uh, so far, I'm sure that... That. The crazies out there? The, oh, yeah. yeah the, 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 of know, course they are. And, and, of course, not everybody's going to like you. You have to be prepared for... Uh, what? Uh, well, you, you know. I, I said, They'll all like you. I said, something, <laughs> I said something on Twitter about... Uh, somebody had said, oh, Sukar had said he shouldn't chain a Narathiant, and I, I said, disagree. <laughs> uh, and I did get somebody coming back and saying, like, how would you like to be chained? <laughs> and, and, you know, maybe we should chain the Indergenes up. So I was like... I think I'll just leave them. <laughs> <laughs> Try it. <laughs> Try it, puny yeah. human. Uh, Julie, Julie Benz is like a social media queen. She's, she's really awesome she's at amazing. it. She's amazing. She's amazing. And she always says, don't engage the haters. <laughs> so I think that's very, very... It's very valid advice. Sage advice. Yeah, we made a mistake <laughs> once. Uh, <laughs> and it was only once. And we will never talk of it again. So, uh, too bad for you. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. My, my, my mother's not on Twitter because she'd be like, that's my dad. She'd be engaging the haters. <laughs> now I want your mom on Twitter just for that reason. Yes. <laughs> I think she tried. Yeah. yeah. I would follow her in a heartbeat. Just <laughs> I know, right? And I'd retweet everything she says. <laughs> <laughs> her and Grumpy Cat would just be in the right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's so awesome. Oh, uh, now... I don't know if it's anybody's brought it up yet. Uh, is there a practical joker on the set? Is there a prankster? Is a oh. Or are you all very well behaved? Totally. Nobody yeah, misbehaves. I don't believe in that at all. I mean, Graham Greene never says anything funny. I knew, I knew it. <laughs> I knew it would have to be Graham. Just, you know, no, no, no. And Grant never says anything funny. I mean, yeah. Super serious? <laughs> it's serious, <true>, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think the, the first time I ever was on set with Graham, it was like, I don't know, two in the morning or something. Oh, man. And the guy was a riot. I was just like, I'm like falling asleep over here. And he just... He's just getting up. He's just getting, like, yeah. He keeps, it, there's, a, there's a good vibe That's on great. the set. Uh, I have to say, like, I feel really grateful. Like, there isn't a single person in that cast that I don't enjoy. That's um, awesome. And Perfect. there's a lot of funny, wise wise guys, to say the least. I love hearing that, though, because we, we hear that from so many of the Canadian production television shows that, are, that we've talked to, that everybody has a really good set, the crew is great, the cast great. Obviously, we're doing something right up here. I think so. I mean, and by that, I mean we, again, 
not just them, but we. Yeah. Well, as an, I mean, we're pointing it as out. As an industry. <laughs> yes. Industry, I, think, I think there are. Yeah, it's just. Good people here. Yeah, and it speaks so well for Canadian television. Yeah. I mean, I get, you know, it's a co pro. I get that. But it's filmed in Canada, it's ours. <laughs> so. We're responsible for its success. That's, that's, <laughs> right. that's right. Own it. That's right. I will support it to the ends of the earth, but it's ours. <laughs> Captain Kirk was a Canadian, I'm just saying. <laughs> Although sci-fi wants to put out action figures and stuff. <laughs> we'll support that as we well. We will support that. <laughs> and t-shirts, I want t-shirts. <laughs> but I love it. So, and I honestly, I haven't looked because I don't want to, I don't really want to know, but how many episodes are there in season one? There's uh, 13. There is 13, I, okay. I had a scary feeling there was only What like are we that, even that, up to right really now? Six, I, I get confused because the whole... We are on six. It's, yeah. it's, it's six, yeah. but it's actually, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, because the pilot was two. It was yeah. two. Which yeah. I didn't do, because I, I actually t- spoke about that in my review this week where I said... Yeah, I noticed, and I was like, I'm yeah. with you. <laughs> 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 but, it's yeah. <laughs> but apparently it's number six in reality. So, yeah. Okay, so that means we're halfway there. We're there. I'm not happy about that. I know. But you know it's coming back. Oh, well, it yes. is, but then i got to wait for it. Yeah. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> Unless we get that set visit. <laughs> well, that's it. <laughs> you sign your life away, they might let you on there. Hey, all right. I'm not using it. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, nothing going on. I can pull it around my mug. It's, it is, I think I've actually said it in a couple of my reviews that it's quickly becoming one of my favorite shows. That's great. Which, too. you know, and, and both of them, like Orphan Black right now is one of my favorites, and, and Defiance are both, they're both right there, and I don't, the only other show I really watch religiously right now is Doctor Who. Yeah. yeah. And it's, haven't been having the best season, I'm sorry, boys. <laughs> but yeah, I, know, I love the fact that, one, they're both Canadian. And they're both Saskatchewan people in them, right? Yeah. So, I mean, come on. <laughs> that's got to be where the casting comes from now, I guess. It's Pretty much, one. that's right. They, they, they fly to Saskatchewan, too. Just uh, rake everybody up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, they lost their tax credit in Saskatchewan, so now they don't have to fly there because everyone's come here. See? <laughs> <Exodus. laughs> now, I'm, I read somewhere you, you started, you wanted to be an actor, you kind of decided to be an actor by the age of 10. Yeah, about yeah. that. And how yeah. did that come about? Well, I was trying to think, I mean, I know that I did a play, I did Dracula when I was about that age. How did you do Dracula at 10? Yeah, I, I think How I, old were you I think I saw played. <laughs> I think I played the girl in Dracula. Me? And also a boy. Wow. I, I you know, small town. You have to. It's play a very like, sophisticated. Very <laughs> Shakespearean. You have to play yeah. all these characters. <laughs> um, so I remember doing that, and I also remember doing a uh, speech when I was about that age on Pauline Johnson, the Explorer, and and that was like my first time I'd ever like stood up and presented, and I was like, yeah, I want to be an actor, and I never changed my mind. Strangely yes. enough, yeah. Before that, I wanted to be a marine biologist, but I thought that was somebody that swam with the dolphins. <laughs> so that was the only. Well, who other, want to be that? That was the only <laughs> other career choice. I. Uh, I wanted to be a zoologist for a while until I saw how much science there was. <laughs> I was like, true. what do I get to touch it's an true. animal? Yeah, I, I kind of have, like, I, when I was choosing, when I went to university, if I didn't go into acting, I was going to go into criminology. But I think oh, it was cool. because I wanted to be an actor, because I was like, I want to do like forensics and like, and then I realized you have to be good at like math and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to be on CSI. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? I just want to be on CSI. <laughs> I don't really want to do the work. I can say all the things, I yeah. just don't understand the math. Exactly. Yeah. Perfect. That's like me in quantum physics. I get the theory, I can't do the math to save my life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or anybody else's, so don't look at me to save the planet. <laughs> I'm not that guy. <laughs> yeah. No, I know I'm the farthest thing from Dr. Ewell, like anything scientific and mathematical. <laughs> I think I stopped. I will support you. <laughs> yeah. Is there a favorite or a cursed uh, line of dialogue that you just hated, like medical goblin? There was this one scene, and I, I'm not going to even be able to tell you. We were talking about an arc, the arc, and ugh. like I actually had to get a friend to draw me a diagram. I'm like, what are they talking about? <laughs> I can't memorize this until I can get like a visual of understand. what is yeah. going on here. So, so like my partner, he drew it all out. He's like, this is what happened. This is what and <laughs> then I could kind of, I had like bolts drawn and things. And <laughs> then I could kind of memorize it. But I think he had it memorized long before <laughs> I did. Yeah. 
I'll know it. I'll know it when I hear the when line. When you're going to be like, that's it. That's the one. <laughs> that's the one I needed the picture for. Who wrote the script for that? I hate you. Yeah. <laughs> Next time, flashcards only. <laughs> and we'll get through right. it. You Short like lines. A, you pull like a Marlon Brando with the people just holding the cue card right. the scene as he wanders around. <laughs> There were moments when I thought I might have to, but... Uh, <laughs> that would be the only thing that would throw me, like... Well, no, because now if we go into a second season, you know they're going to expand your language. So there's going right. to be that, so you're going right. to have to... But they're going to have to bring some more indigenes into the yeah, place, that's so true. I have yeah, someone to yeah. talk to. And the thing is, is my makeup is expensive, so yeah. indigenes might be a smaller race. Huh. <laughs> I know that. But I'm sure they'll show up. Yeah. Yeah. like, we'll learn more there about the culture. Yeah, we're going to learn more about, which I, that's the, my favorite part is learning more about the different cultures and yeah. how they kind of start to mesh and interact. Like the whole, with the, uh, uh, the cast of things where they're, they're literally torturing that guy. Yeah. And that's, that's their society. That's what they mm -hmm. do. Mm -hmm. And at what point do we have the right to come in and say, you can't do that. That's wrong. Yeah. I just I love that dynamic, and you can I, explore yeah. that in sci-fi where yeah. you can't do that. And, and like they that. even tried to say you can't do that. That's wrong. And they're like, no, oh, that's our culture. I'm like, okay, <laughs> no, really, like you can't. <laughs> you yeah. need to I stop. I love that stuff. Yeah. So I would love to see more of that with like with all the cultures. And yeah. Then, you know, Rin's backstory was just. Yeah. And I think that they've done a really a really great thing by bringing stories like that in that mm -hmm. are, are so relevant to oh, yeah. our world. Yeah. Um, so yeah. it really does sort of strike And forward. and because it's science fiction, you can you can actually position it enough that you can you can see and understand both sides. Right. Which not you can't always do in modern day society. Right. right. Yeah. Which allows you to see it in a completely different way in our own society, which is it's it's smart television. Yes. Which I love. It's and it hasn't writers. been like that yeah. long. Like the the whole invasion fight thing happened like within a generation. Like there's people right. who were kids mm -hmm. that are white. So it's it's been, like people are still trying to get used to each other. Yeah. yeah. All yeah. the different races are trying to get used to each other still. Yeah. yeah. And well, they don't really have a choice <laughs> because nobody can go anywhere now. Right. Well, this week with with Arissa, where we finally got to see her and, and Nolan meet for the first time, I was I was getting misty eyed. I'm like, this is awesome. <laughs> Such good television. <laughs> Even any time she's my daughter, and people are like, "What?" <laughs> it's, it's and so you see them trying to work it out. How did that happen? <laughs> right. <laughs> it's it's smart. I love it, and I just I want more. So I want like a full season next year. So get That's on that. Right. Okay, I'll do it. Yeah, I'll do what will. I can. And All right, so we've got a full season set visit, action, action figures, figures. t-shirts, <laughs> fan expo panel appearance, Tim's badge, badges. Oh, and I want one of the guns, too. I just weaponry. I want one of the chargers. <gasps> See? One of the uh, vehicles. Yeah. That's, I could use a runner. See, I don't want a go. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it! <laughs> I love it. I, got and for some reason, I just totally geeked out. I totally geeked out. For and no a Lego version of the game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the fact that, you know, Nolan is left-handed. For some reason, I just think that's the coolest thing. I didn't know that. <laughs> I just, I'm like, that is so cool. Because you don't see a lot of action heroes that are left-handed. You just don't. A lot of actors aren't left-handed. Yeah. Bruce Willis was the first one I ever noticed. And then I'm like, oh, hey, look. Nice. Plus, like, how much do you see action heroes doing anything with their, like, where you notice that they're left-handed? Mm -hmm. Pulling a gun? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Thank you. <laughs> I was just like, thinking of, like, writing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I don't but know. That's what I noticed. Is, like, when he drew, I'm like, oh, my God, he's left-handed. And I'm not left-handed. I just, I just think it's cool. It's very observant. Yeah. Yeah. Way more works. observant than me. <laughs> yeah. But I love it. It's smart television. It's. I can't wait to play the game because Showcase for some reason hasn't sent me one. I don't know what's going on. There. <laughs> I'm looking at you, Showcase. You can't hey. get everything. <laughs> Sit. I should. <laughs> but okay, yeah. Okay. So t-shirts. Here's <laughs> the list. Run this down. Full season. Send everything to Tim. <laughs> And more important, well, not more importantly, just as importantly, you are. Uh, although this will probably air after the fact, but uh, you're you're involved with uh, with a little uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Charity event coming up on June second. I am. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Our friend Amanda Google has got her army put it on Mingle for a mission. Yes. Yep. And we're raising money for Bloordale. 
Bloor View, uh, something uh, Bloor something Children's, children's yeah. Rehabilitation yeah. Hospital. Like awesome. fo focus on yeah women and children. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's great. How I did you get should, wrangled into that? I think it's uh, well, it's it's. Uh, through my agent, who <laughs> uh, teamed me up with her, and I think it's great. I'm really excited to be a part of something like that. I think it's great that she's doing this. Yeah. yeah. Like, good on her for just taking control. And it's her first one. She's yeah. just like, what yeah. I'm doing. Yeah. And I think it's for a great cause, so I'm looking forward to it's it. It's going to be a great night. Yeah. Because we'll be so. there, yeah. obviously. <laughs> we were like, the first day tickets went on sale. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Tim, put it on your card. I'll get you cash. <laughs> Have to go up and find something nice to wear now. It's gonna be tough. I won't. <laughs> It'll be tough. But, you know, I've got this to work with, so I should be fine. I should be fine. Well, it's in June, so at least we'll be uh, in the nice weather. That's right. It's gonna it be better. Great. Be nice weather. <laughs> be, yeah. But I love the fact there's like there's there's so many guests. There's like twenty guests all together. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah it's from gonna be a, a variety of Canadian television and film. I keep forgetting Elvira Kurtz on the list. How cool is that? I know. <laughs> like, kind of exciting. I was I, just like, oh, yeah. Yeah. I There's kinda, always I kinda, amazing. I kind of love her. Yeah. I'm a bit of a girl crush on her. You she can't is. not. <laughs> She's hilarious. <laughs> she is. Yeah, she hosted the Actor Awards again this year. Right. And, uh, yeah, she just cracks me up. She's yeah. So everybody's going to be so I'm gonna, I haven't part, ever right? met her. So no, me neither. I'll just sort of be... Looking at her from across the room, too shy to. No. Shy to I've done her. that before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not usually like that, but I was at a party uh, in the last summer, and Kurt Browning was there, and I was so nervous. I was like, I've talked to movie stars and people on television, and I can't walk across the room and say hi to Kurt Browning. Wow. He's like my, you know, idol from when I was. I get that. When I was young, so I was a figure skater. Mm -hmm. Because Sue, actually, Sue and I both had those kind of experiences. Oh, yeah. Where Because uh, we've met so many amazing people through this show, right. which is great. And and for the most part, I don't have problems talking to anybody anymore. Right. But uh, was it, it must be almost two years ago now. They had uh, Scott Bakula from Quantum Leap. And that show affected me so much when it ran. Like, that I might weep when I saw I was you closer. We, we, had, we had a picture with him and Dean Stockwell. And as soon as we got out, I'm like... So I need I need I needed a moment to just <laughs> calm down and like the week before I'd written this huge article on on how quantum leap had changed and affected my life and blah 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 and I'd printed it up and I went through Scott's line and I even got to chat with his agent and he, he and I were fine and then as soon as I got to Scott literally the throat closed up I started I'm like I just wanted I wrote this article I wanted to say <laughs> yeah. thank you for everything you've done and you've literally changed my life. So, so thank you, and I just need to shake your hand, and I need to go. <laughs> <laughs> and he's the only person I've met that has done that to me. I mean, we got we got to meet Patrick Stewart ever so briefly. We got to meet like yeah. you know so many people. I know and it's strange how that happens, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, I know. I was I was kind of shocked myself. I was like, yeah. not usually yeah. like this. You know? <laughs> I mean, although get me to go out and talk to a girl, that's a completely different story. <laughs> but. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> put a camera on me and I'm fine, I guess, so who knew? <laughs> Just take your like crew that with you next be, time. Yeah. Do you see That's that? Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I promise this is not Girls Gone Wild. <laughs> yeah. Like at all. <laughs> I'm just happy when girls show up. <laughs> Wait, I shouldn't laugh at that. <laughs> so mean. <laughs> Now what else do you have coming up? Are you are you like taking a break before uh, before Defiance comes back? Uh, or, uh... No, I'm uh, I'm trying not to. <laughs> I'm just like every other actor in Toronto right now, busy out there doing auditions Wicked? and um, what's that? I said Wicked. Wicked, yes. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to you know see <laughs> see what comes. Um, like I said to you guys, I'm still sort of new to Toronto, yeah, so true. there's still a lot of people that. Don't know you can go to the zoo with us if you want to. Okay. Yeah. I see pandas. Totally. Yeah. Everybody gets invited to the zoo with us. It's, it's yeah, pretty true. It's pretty much our but thing. But Tim's a map. <laughs> I am. I am the map. You never get They're lost. always like, do you need a map? I'm like, no. I've got I brought him. And the only reason I get to go is because I know where we're going. I have Plus to say, I've never been to the zoo yet. Wow. But now that there's pandas there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's time. We're kind of excited. You got to see the polar bear before we left. Oh, did you? polar bear. <laughs> yeah. I got to throw him some fish. Oh, I hit him with one. <laughs> it 
it was an accident. That's what she said. <laughs> Slipped out of my hand. Yeah, it was in Hyde Park. <laughs> but Hyde Park is awesome. They are awesome too. Yeah, it's yeah. a great little area. Yeah. Like, we should go there over the weekend too. It's supposed to be beautiful. Yeah, because yeah, we got so much the time. Cherry over blossoms, weekend. though. Yeah, I have cherry blossoms on my avenue. So yeah, so, okay. Yeah, well, I went to the cherry blossoms on a Saturday. Big mistake. <laughs> <laughs> what? You weren't the only one. <laughs> I know. I was like, what are all these people doing here? They're ruining my day. Yes. <laughs> humans. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, humans. <laughs> that is so. <laughs> Don't like crowds. No. Totally get that. Totally get that. It's true. Comic-Con's going to be a problem for me. Yeah. Yeah. Take your entourage. Yeah, that's that's right. right. Just get people to put buffers for you. That's right. That's what we need. That's how it actually makes you even more popular, because people think you're more important than you are. If you have a bunch of big guys, you're like, hey, get out of the way. You're going to have to move aside. That would be awesome. I, well, I'm, it's not till August anyway, so there's plenty of time to even get like a couple to find because there's got to be a couple of you still in town easily, you know. And the couple of you are definitely well, me is Canadian, mm-hmm. you're Canadian. Yeah, um, that's two. Yeah, <laughs> great, <Ten. great> Canadian. <laughs> all the all the kids we call yeah. them. we call them the kids, even though I think I think. Uh, Justin Rain is only like two years younger than me. So <laughs> partly the kids. The kids. They're all Canadian. Yeah. Are <laughs> you a young fella? Yeah. Hey, little one. <laughs> I think it would be awesome to get you guys there because I think I think the turnout would end up being kind of huge. Probably. Well, and Julie talked about it when she was here. That's right. Last year, the year before, last mm-hmm. year. Yeah. That would be awesome. It would be your riot. I know, right? Yeah. Because we'll I just I want to get to the point where we get people in Defiance costume. Yeah, I think so. I, yeah. I, I know. I'm I'm excited for Halloween this year. Yeah. Because I think there will be a whole bunch of little Arissas <laughs> <laughs> running around at that would be cool. cast events. Um, Indigenes might be a little bit harder, but uh, well, maybe they they, maybe work. they'll make a mask. <laughs> there you go. See, anyone can be Doc. <laughs> It'll be like an indigene balaclava or something. That's right. <laughs> oh, can, I, can I just wear that? I can't hear through. Yeah. Can I just wear that? That looks a lot easier to get in and out of every yeah. day. There we go. See, one, another one for you. Right? Right? Balaclava is... You're good. welcome. <laughs> that right. is fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, no. Halloween's going to be something else for sure. <laughs> That's brilliant. Trina, this has been amazing. It's been, it's been so much fun having you on the show. You guys are... You guys are right. Right. It's like <laughs> we'll see you again in a couple of weeks anyway. It's, right. it's a big party. What, we're not going to the Pandas? Pand- see, look. Whoa, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going twice this weekend alone. <laughs> That's insane. That's amazing. Yeah. Thanks for having oh, me. Oh, no. Just, and more importantly, first Defiance guest, man. I love that. Let's get more of you in here. All right. Let's do that. Who do I need to talk to? <laughs> we need more of them living in Toronto. Yeah. 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 Well, see, that's what and then we can start doing groups. That's right. <laughs> yeah, we did. A... We can all fight for camera time. We're all, <laughs> we're all camera hogs. Yeah. yeah. I refuse to believe I that. cannot imagine. <laughs> no. We don't share. <laughs> we don't share. <laughs> so there were a few more invited today, but... but uh, yeah, I mean, sorry. Said no. <laughs> Doc's time. <laughs> she doesn't like crowds. <laughs> like anyone. <laughs> Except for Grumpy Cat. That's right. But he's not a person anymore. She's not a person. It's not a person. Tired. Tired. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's a perfect place to wrap it up. Yeah, Grumpy Cat. We start and finish yeah. with Grumpy that's Cat right. and Pandas. Please come back. I will. And and we, we I'm eagerly waiting the production of season two. I mean, I know we haven't even finished season one yet, but I'm, <laughs> I'm ready to get on that set and just take pictures and wander and, and say hi to everybody. I sign mean, your life away. Don't forget that. And sign your life away. That's right. <laughs> and Lindsay, our awesome op. Make sure you wait for the camera, Lindsay. Who's looking pretty awesome tonight. He's got, he's got like some pretty good hair going on there. He, he'll make me proud one day. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, uh, your minder, Amira, who made sure we didn't say anything we shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> who got on the phone with... Die five, <laughs> making all this stuff happen. Everybody, right away. Deals going on up right in San Diego. So see, that's she does work that fast. Actually. I believe it. 
She, uh, she, well, it was funny when we, I first got the email from her, she's like, you know, you pretty much said, you loved what we did with Lara. And she goes, and I've got this actress, her name is Trina Keating, and she's in this sci-fi show called Defiance. I don't know what it is, but I don't know what it is. And I literally emailed her back within seconds and go, I've watched the pilot like three times. Yes, yes, yes. Like, Let's get her in here. And I sent this email to Sue. I'm like, Sue, we have a Defiance cast. So, yeah. Yeah, I think I had time after I saw her email to go, yes, in capital letters. And I already emailed back, yeah. Yeah. It was, yeah. It's already it was, done. <laughs> okay. It was, yeah, such, such good television. I'm loving it. Yeah, so, great. Yay for you being in one of my favorite shows. Glad I could do that. And that's, that's, that's a good list. That's a good list to be on. Because yeah, I'm a snob. So ah. That's true. And Sue, this is the start of your weekend. It sure is. Oh, yes. Thank goodness. I had the day off, so I'm only... I'm only... Not, well, I'm not as excited. I just feel bad for Vizdek today because I was... They did get out. I was not... Um, I was not on top of my game. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. At all. But there's pandas tomorrow. There sure are. Pandas in Star Trek for Tim. So. Yeah. Awesome sauce. Right. Wixom, in fact, Lindsay. Wixom. <laughs> <laughs> so on, on behalf of Smitty TV and the Mind Wheels, we're going to say uh, good night. Good night. I like it very much.